Hey Angie. Um, yeah, you're never just gonna guess how to <coughs> guess how to make a MIDI sound. It's not. I showed you before, but I'm gonna show you again. Okay, so we're gonna open the file. Bingo, bango. Over here is your. Oops. Your synthesizers in here. So you pick one. Let's say you want a piano. I think I have uh, Alicia's keys in there for you. And you go here where it says synth and you connect it synth connected okay and it'll turn on it'll light up in a sec I just booted up so it might be a little slow there it is now double click the little square here contact opens up still no still no sounds still nothing going on go to your library in this case it's uh, Alicia's keys I'm gonna click that little drop down and I'm gonna pick one of these I don't use this much so I haven't really played with it Double click on a sound, it's going to load up over here. This is your the sounds that are loaded up window kind of thing. In the meantime, I'm going to make a MIDI track. Okay, you have to have a MIDI track. Boop, there it is. And the MIDI track input, usually if you have it set to all inputs omni, and that means anything you do on any MIDI will work. The output, I need to select contact. There it is. Okay, so now if I hit my keyboards, I'll be making this work. I'm going to click the little keyboard. See, there it is. All right, so. Put it in record over here. Hit record. Play something. There it is as MIDI. I can put this away because I don't need to look at it. So we can close it. It won't close forever. It just goes back. You have to click here to open it again. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to look at that MIDI track I just made. There it is. And I'm hearing the click. Sorry. Okay, so you can treat this sort of like a wave file if you need to and split it up, do stuff like that. Or you can right click and go to View, Staff if you want to add a note, move a note, right click on a note and change the level of it, velocity, or how long it was, or what pitch it was. When you're happy with the MIDI, select your MIDI, holding control, and I think I showed you this at my house. I have all your synth audio tracks in that little folder up here, okay? So usually when you want to select a MIDI track and make a recording of it, you have to select the MIDI track, as I've done there, and you have to hold control, I'm doing that, and couple it with the synth by pressing on the number beside the synth. Okay, you see how it highlighted up here? Now it's selected the MIDI and the audio for the MIDI. If you'll notice when I push play, the audio goes through this track, see? In other words, I could put a reverb or something on here and treat it like an audio track. God, I don't know how to work this program. Uh, there we go. So let's put on something here, uh, reverb or something. Whatever. Compressor. There we go. Beep. All right. Nice piano playing. Whoops. I deselected it. So I'm going to select it again. Oh. I'm going to select this MIDI track. And now I'm going to bounce it down, which is Control J. Or you can go here and say uh, Track. Sorry. Bounce to Track. Usually this is set up good, but you can check the window and say OK. And it'll make a MIDI file right here. Now if I mute this, there's the piano. And I'm going to undo that and show you something else. So this last note I played got chopped off in the recording because I didn't do this. If you want the note to ring out or whatever, drag the MIDI longer so that um, it doesn't chop off on you. Control J. See now, now that... <clears throat> now it won't uh, chop. See, it lets the natural decay of the sound. All right, so go to your synth, turn it on, load up a sound, 
And that's there's the MIDI channel, by the way, because you can have several things in here. Now I can go and add uh, an organ or something if I wanted to, and it's going to load in here, and it's going to be automatically MIDI channel two. You see. Or I can change it to one and have that original MIDI track play organ and piano if I wanted to. Let's say you wanted to. Right, same thing. Or we add a new MIDI track. That's fine. I'm going to set it to contact. Only this time I'm going to make sure the MIDI channel, which I believe is here, yeah is on 2. This I should have told you to put this one on MIDI channel 1 because that's what we're using. So now if I do any kind of track here, it should be organ. Oh, nothing. It's nothing. What's going on there? Oh, I got the wrong thing selected. All inputs, contact, MIDI channel 2. Oh, you know why it's not working is because this is still on MIDI 1. I'm going to put it back to MIDI 2. There we go. Okay, I'm not playing. I'm not playing very nicely here, but you get the idea. track here so if I want to bounce that down I select it I hold control I touch on the synth I hit control J or bounce it to track there's the track there and I again I forgot to add silence so I'm gonna add silence there we go control J I'm gonna mute this Okay, or you could have mixed them all together. Let's try that. So we just select all the MIDI here. Hold contact. Now we should have, I'm just going to solo it. Now we should have piano and keyboard. Okay, there you go. And what else? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Another trick I do, and that's why I hide it in a folder, is you don't have to open this folder. You can close this. And if you wanted to select, do the same thing, you could select your MIDI and hold control, and you could just touch on here. And all it's doing is it's saying, select any MIDI that's being highlighted. And the only thing that is being highlighted is this piano. So even though all these are selected, it's only going to bounce down the piano. So that's a fast way to do it. Boom, same deal. There's the piano. Okay, so lesson one. <laughs>